before it's permanent. <laughs> Show me a little swivel. Here we are. All right, it's Maybe. not permanent yet. This is just, this is temporary. It's you you can- You put it on there and you could barely get it off <laughs> when we replaced it, when we re-aligned uh, it. Yeah, uh, yeah, so it's now or never. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm excited for it. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. A bad time, then a good time. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know the, how bad it's gonna hurt, but we're about to find out. Yeah, table's really right cool. here. Yeah, oh my god, funny. he's hysterical. Very funny guy. Yeah, we're at Till Death in um, Auburn, Death, Florida. Yeah. So, if you guys like the way the tattoo turns out, then hit, hit him up. up. We're with Brandon, great tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Hopefully. we'll see once it's yeah, done. I mean, judging off of the work that he showed me and all of the tattoos he has, I mean, I'm sure it's pretty good. Otherwise, it's permanent. <laughs> <laughs> There's no going back. Yeah. No, he re he realigned it like three times. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it took a little bit. Yeah, it's good. We've been here for about an hour mm -hmm. and 25 minutes, but we're well, about to start it. Let's go. Let's do it. Not too bad. No reaction. No, I thought it was gonna hurt a lot worse. <laughs> I'm sure it will later, but. There's just no reaction from you. <laughs> no, it didn't really feel that bad. Because all you hear is a bunch of horror stories, you know, when you're getting tattooed. Because my, my brother in law, he's younger than me, and he got a full rib tattoo. He didn't say it was that bad, but. The ribs are bad. Though. Yeah, no, that's what. I mean, he got a whole script all the way down his ribs. Yeah. First tattoo. No numbing cream or anything. The guy got all the way through it, and he was like, oh man, I'm so sorry, I forgot about the numbing cream. Um, he was like, really, numbing cream? <laughs> sunburned right now. Uh, <laughs> we went out to a water park a couple days ago and I'm still feeling the after effects but it's been like um what has it been three weeks since I got it? Yeah, maybe maybe like two yeah. Two weeks two and weeks. um I'll just say like the first five days or so was pretty uh not miserable but 
it didn't feel too great. I mean, the, the overall, the tattoo didn't hurt uh, that bad. You know, it hurt pretty bad right uh, near the middle of my spine here. Um, just a little bit, but I mean, overall, like I, I didn't feel it barely at all over here at all. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it was easy. I mean, the guy was really nice. We went to Till Death Do Us Part or Till Death Studios mm -hmm. in Auburndale, Florida, and uh, we worked with Brandon, really cool guy. And um, I mean, it was I overall. Think he did a great job. He did a great job. Uh, he really lined it up well. And took he, a while. Though. It took a while, and he also hand drew this. So I just gave him an image of a font that I liked um, with mm -hmm. a different tattoo. And he hand drew all of this and then printed it out and stenciled it on my back. And then we did the tattoo. It took about four hours to do. Um, cost me $360 or $380, right around yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, we tipped him, so. Yep, and so it wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, for a lifetime thing. First it's tattoo. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so just aftercare, we used a lotion that we bought on Amazon. Forgot what it was called, but it was specifically designed I for... I can go grab it. Yeah, we can show you in a, in a bit here. And then um, I used Vaseline for the first three days. Um, yeah. And then Saran Wrap, I just Saran Wrapped the back because we do have a dog and I didn't want any pet dander to get in there. Because um, they said some people can get, like, infected. Yeah, like a staph infection. Um, yeah. If you get pet dander in the open tattoo. So I just kept it nice and wrapped up, um, sleeping with a shirt on and then the saran wrap. It was not comfortable, to be honest, for the first <laughs> four days. Um, it was itchy, a little bit sore and tender. But after the five days, I removed the saran wrap and it peeled up pretty well. I mean, it, it peeled a little bit in the beginning. Only a very little bit. Yeah, but we kept it nice and moist. And now I don't even have to put lotion on it, really. I mean, obviously, I've been putting on a lot of lotion because I'm really sunburned. <laughs> I mean, Some check aloe. out this arm. <laughs> like, check out here. Yeah. Compared to here. <laughs> you nice baby look really yeah. right. Yeah. I'm, I'm really sunburned, but overall, love the tattoo. Um, yeah. It's my family thing, so it means a lot to me. And um, here's to more. <laughs> here's to more. It's going to happen soon, so. Yeah, and I can go grab that tattoo cream so I can show it. Yeah. All right, so this is the tattoo care lotion that we bought. We got on Amazon. It was like 11 bucks, I think, something like yeah, that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it just has ocean care, H2O ocean. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, recommendations from family members that have tattoos that said this is the best stuff. And honestly, um, I wouldn't know if it was or not because it did heal really well, but I haven't... And it was your any, first tattoo. Yeah, I don't have any experience with any of the other lotions. So I didn't use any other lotion except this. And this is non-scented. So, uh, you know, they recommend you don't use scented lotion. Yeah. We do have a lot of scented lotion. Megan really likes lotion. So we have cocoa butter lotion. We have just like lavender scented lotion, tea tree scented lotion. Yeah. So we have a lot of that stuff. Didn't want to use it. We got this. And we still have a little bit left. So this did last for the entire healing process of the tattoo. Yeah, hopefully when I get mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I ever. <laughs> and I think this is like $10 on Amazon. So I mean, yeah. it wasn't bad. That's great. Yeah. So overall, I would do it again. Megan's going to do her soon. And uh, here it is. All done. So really happy with it. All right, so it's been a couple days since the last video, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like when I wasn't Something. bright red <laughs> like a lobster, so here it is. Looks good, I think. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Yeah, the guy did a good job. Yeah, the lines are nice and good, and it's nice and straight. Yeah, you can see good. where there is some imperfections. Like if you zoom in right there on the E, oh, he yeah. must have dragged the line right across. Um, but, but I mean, it's, it's barely You could barely see that. But he also said that we could come for touch-ups and yeah, he wouldn't he would charge free, you, so. so. Um, we yeah. might throw some different color in there, some, maybe some red, but I think the gray looks good, so. Eventually, we he didn't even get put something gray. here. He just, yeah, he just put uh, black, so this is all black and the black shading. He said he would do some gray if, he, if I wanted, so we'll see how it goes, but that's it. That's the tattoo. There we go. You like it? Love would it. recommend? Would recommend. <laughs> awesome.